In the real world, when you work as a developer or a database administrator, quite often you'll have to work with multiple databases. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine columns from tables across multiple databases. That's pretty easy. So in the SQL Store database, we have these tables that you're fairly familiar with. Now imagine this products table was not here. Now, if you look at the SQL inventory database, you can see here we have another products table. This products table is exactly the same as the products table that we have in the SQL Store database. So it has the same columns and the same data. Now, technically, this is not a good design. You don't want to have the same table repeated in multiple places. But for this demo, let's just imagine that we don't have the products table here. So we want to join the order items table with the products table in the SQL inventory database. Let's get started. So select everything from the order items table. Let's give it an alias straight away. We want to join this with the products table. This products table is part of the SQL inventory database. So we'll have to prefix this with the name of its database. So we type out SQL inventory dot. Now, once again, we can give this an alias like P, then type out our join condition. So OI dot product ID should be the same as P dot product ID. Let's run the query. There you go. So we successfully joined tables across multiple databases. Now, note that we're prefixing the products table with the name of its database because the current database that we're writing this query against is the SQL Store database. Take a look. In the Navigator panel, the SQL Store database is displayed in bold because earlier we wrote the use statement to select a database. That was SQL Store. Now, what if we select the SQL Inventory database? Let's see what happens. So SQL Inventory. Now, because we have multiple statements, we have to terminate this with a semicolon. Now, we want to select everything from the order items table, but we don't have this table inside of this database. So now we'll have to prefix this table with the name of its database. That is SQL underline store. Let's execute the query. Okay, everything works beautifully. So here's the lesson. You only have to prefix the tables that are not part of the current database. In other words, your query will be different depending on the current database.